Hey, the internet is truly a mystical place. Anything can be found in it. Memes, job opportunities, pornography, ads for products that you didn't even know you needed. You name it, it has it. But out of all the mysteries on the internet, one of them stands out the most to me. YouTube's recommendations. It is the biggest box of surprises available online. Most of the time it's like, oh hey, I see you like the music video for this song. How about checking out this other music video by the same artist? But at times it can also be like, hey, I see you're enjoying that gameplay video. May I offer you frog? And obviously, the sleep deprived me at 4.30 a.m. on a Tuesday night, who also had a discrete mathematics test in about 5 hours and studied nothing for it, could not decline such an offer. So yeah, here we are. I'm making this video because this is my life now. I watch frog feeding videos to fall asleep, so I thought I'd make a video on it or something. I don't really know, but yeah, here we go. Now this right here requires some special attention. This is a thick boy right here. I've seen some thick waifus in my days, but goddamn, this yellow boy is on a different level. He transcends the thick with two C's and instead creates his own level of thickness, the thick with three C's. I like the specific frog because he reminds me of the time I was in eighth grade and I forgot a ham and cheese sandwich in the deepest, darkest abyss of my backpack, only to find out it had been squished under my books for like a week and a half. And when I got that sandwich back, it looked exactly like this frog. Wide, like some pita bread. Another thing I like about this video is that this guy could have chosen like some elevator music or like, you know, one of those vlog songs with an ukulele playing in the background or whatever. But no, he chose like some, some fucking Middle Eastern dubstep or some shit. That, that shit is insane. It really, really, really brings the video alive, you know. Also, let's not beat around the bush here and pretend we don't see it, but this rat has huge fucking balls. I know that that's what you were looking at. Don't try and fool me. But don't worry, we were all staring at them. With balls that big, I would actually consider changing the title of the video to like, something like, Mouse teabags his nuts into Frog's mouth. You know, really bait the masses into clicking on the video. Too bad they weren't massive enough to like, clog this frog's mouth and save the rat, but hey, that was a nice try. Kinda. I like that this rat came in and he tried to do everything that he could, you know, he he sniffed his, he took a sniff of his buddy's nuts and he was like, I'm calling it, this motherfucker's gone, he's off to rat heaven. And there we have it, a quick easy win for the thick yellow boy. That was almost a speed run. I mean, that rat stood absolutely no chance at all. As a matter of fact, it, it was so quick that I, I dare I say, this could be rigged. This could, this fight could have been rigged. I, I think that that mouse could have thrown the fight, you know. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened in order for this guy not want to not want to show uh, this monster eating the other two mice. But that was a good fight, I would say. Uh, that, that, was, that was not a bad fight. I like quick fights like this. And now, on the left corner, we have this abomination left behind on Earth by Satan as a symbol of his hatred for God and everything good. And on the right corner, we have a thick green boy who is about to fuck this spider up real good. Now, this is probably my favorite frog feeding video because I hate spiders with every single thread that composes the fibers of my body. I still remember how I screamed when I was a kid and I woke up staring at a tarantula that was just sitting on my belly. I screamed like a fucking banshee with hemorrhoids getting anal surgery without anesthesia. Like a child whose parents tricked them into thinking that they were going to Disneyland when they were actually going to visit their uncle Gil in Ohio. That was the closest I have ever gotten to making a Molotov cocktail and burning down my entire house with me inside. 
Now, let me be very clear with this. I'm not afraid of spiders, despite what you might be thinking. I just dislike them to an inhuman extent. As a matter of fact, when I see a spider, instead of running away like a little bitch, I charge at them, like a solitary Spartan facing an entire army of Romans, like a deer seeing a Ford Ranger barreling down towards them at 80 miles an hour. Again, I'm not scared of spiders. <laughs> What a strike from our slimy champion here. What a move, what a clean move. Just sneaks up behind that bitch, pretends like he's not gonna do anything, just stares out the window, then just turns around and bam, rips that shit right off. I mean, I couldn't have done it better myself, probably because I'm not a frog and I hate spiders to death, but but yeah, after a blow like that, the spider just looked at the camera and was like, Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. But yeah, not much to talk about this video. I mean, the frog wins at the end, just rips each one of the spider's legs off and just eats it whole and just swallows it whole at the end. I mean, with these videos, the frog always wins. The superior being wins every time. I mean, it's, it's, and it's what you expect, really, because like, most of these animals can't do anything to these frogs. So, you know, when you click on a video like this, you're just there to experience the frog, you know, just eating these bastards. I mean, that's that's what these videos are for. Now we have another bullfrog versus mouse situation, but this one is special in its own way. How is it special, you ask? Well, because the mouse in this particular video is a goddamn ninja. This little fucker right here came straight out of the Hidden Leaf Village. He's like the fourth Hokage out here, just flexing his flying thunder god technique, dodging every single strike coming in for the titan he's up against. As a matter of fact, let me edit over this video in order to switch to a more fitting song. And all of that actually led to a flurry of negative comments in the video, which now has the comments turned off about how the mouse supposedly won, quote unquote, his freedom, and that the guy shouldn't have left the mouse in there after it fought so bravely to get out and whatnot. Well, here's the thing, this isn't a fucking experiment. This guy isn't benchmarking this mouse to form an army of mice or anything like that. Like, damn, this fucker right here, he, he had a 100% dodge ratio or whatever. No, he's feeding his frog, goddammit. Who doesn't get to fight for freedom? Can you imagine, like, biting into a roasted chicken leg and, like, you're trying to peel the skin out with your teeth and then the skin just snaps and hits you in the eye and you're like, I admit my defeat. You are a formidable opponent, roasted chicken leg. You have earned your freedom. You may go now. Forget about frog food running away. Once it's in there, there's no god, only frog. Hello, YouTube. Hello, my god. Holy shit, this frog is big. You might have noticed during the other videos, but in case you haven't, these aren't your regular run-of-the-mill frogs. The majority of the frogs in these videos are African bullfrogs. These motherfuckers, they're built, built different. different, hence why they have such a badass name. I actually didn't even know that there were frogs with imposing names like this, but I hope that there are other frogs out there with names like, like the Tanzanian fucking dragon toad or like the Bosnian Cthulhu frog or some shit like that. So, you know what time it is. It's feeding time. We got Kirby some snacks. We got five dozen crickets here. What's that, 60? 60 crickets. And we got a feeder mouse, a live, a live one in there. And we got the tub ready. So we're gonna put him in there and see how hungry he is. looking extra thick today. <laughs> oh, look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, let's dump some crickets in first. When I say some, I mean all of them. They had large ones there. I really don't know what it is, but whenever I see an animal being put in front of a frog in these fitting videos, I just imagine that they look up and they just see a gigantic health bar and boss music just starts playing.
Also, you might have noticed that there's a battle royal. Uh, he probably meant to spell royale, but, you know, whatever. Written on the tub there. Now, I'm not a huge fan of battle royale games, personally. Not the biggest Fortnite gamer out there, you know. But I'm pretty sure that in a battle royale, every participant has, like, a fair chance of winning. These crickets that this guy poured in, along with the cocaine he was supposed to sell, didn't even stand a chance against this absolute monster of a unit. This is a battle royale as much as me having two assault rifles, a lightsaber, and the ability to summon asteroids from the sky, going up against 100 prematurely born babies armed with nothing but plastic forks stolen from a Chuck E. Cheese is a battle royale. There's just no chance for these crickets. But I suppose that's fine, you know, this is a feeding video, this is not the Ro this is not the fucking Roman Colosseum, this is not a gladiator battle. I like how these insects are either incredibly brave or just unbelievably fucking stupid. They see their friends getting eaten by this enormous mass of thickness and instead of trying to run away they're just like, guess I'll climb this motherfucker. It's like a battle from Shadow of the Colossus. But yeah, let me just let me just spoil the ending of this video for you. Uh, he just eats pretty much all of the crickets, he sends the rat to the Shadow Realm. I'm really surprised that a frog can eat this much, I didn't know they, they ate this much. I think this pretty much confirms my theory that frogs are just black holes with a mouth and legs. I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if frogs actually were just gates to oblivion that we can't access because we're way too big. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, if you were to ask me why I made a video on frog feeding videos, even though most of my previous videos were on video games or anime, I really don't know. I mean, I, I don't have no idea why I made this video. Um, it's just that I haven't been playing a lot of games lately. Not a lot of interesting games have been coming out. Uh, so, I mean, I had to make a video on something, I guess. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. Subscribe uh, if you'd want to see more videos not like this. I probably won't be making any more videos on frogs. But uh, yeah, don't forget to also share this video with your friends and family. Show this video to your mom and dad. Show this video to your crush, guaranteed to get their attention. Maybe not in the way that you intend, but it will get their attention, trust me. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.